What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Headquarters. You know, 5150 crazy. Hey, it looks like Call of Duty done throwed one on us. We was looking for this big old update today, but actually they snuck it in on us a day early. You know, what a surprise. You know, a little, little splice to throw into us, you know, uh, with the new event, Liberty. And, I mean, I got to say, you know, I'm ready to make a video on the gun, man. I, I've, I've been seeing a lot about the new rifle, and I'm ready to check it out. But uh, also, we got the CWL packs. A lot of people have their ups and downs with it. You know, for me on my side, I like it. Uh, a lot of people are throwing shade because they're making you purchase and pay money to buy them. But, I mean, on, on my side, I see that I would rather go ahead and pay, what is it, $2 or something for the 500 COD points to go ahead and get the camo of my choice that I want versus spending a month of opening supply drops and may or may not even get it i mean you might get lucky and get it on your first supply drop opening but 99 percent of the time that's not going to happen guys i mean we still got guns in the game that we're still grinding for trying to get and i mean i've opened i don't know how many supply drops i mean check your boy out i got i mean just rap sheets of supply drops here that i'm gonna have to get open pretty soon but um uh, you know, these camos here, I mean, I, I really like them. I mean, you know, your boy right here is rock, rocking Optic Gaming. I already own this pack, as you already know. But, uh, I mean, I like them. We got uh, the Splice Pack, the Vitality Pack, the Epsilon, Echo Fox, Phase Clan, TK, Rise Nation, Luminosi, Unilad, Mind Freak, Evil Genius, United Team Envious, Red Reserve, and my Optic Gaming, baby. But uh, anyways, uh, we're going to hop over here to some gameplay with it and check out uh, some of my camos, which I think I'm only going to display the Duck Soup. And I'm hoping I can get the Duck Soup too pretty soon out of all these supply drops. So be looking for that. And uh, we'll jump right on here and show some gameplay and go over some of the content that has been released to us within the week, guys. All right, here we go. It's your boy, Mr. Headquarters, man, with it. The new Optic Gaming Camo on the PPSH Duck Soup. I mean, man, I know they're giving a lot of shade, man, and people are complaining a lot about this, but I got to tell you, I absolutely love it, man. I mean, it just looks so good on my guns, and I'm just a huge Optic Gaming fanboy. I mean, I'm always, you know... Taking breaks, make sure my breaks fall in line where I can watch my boys play. I mean, they was having a bad start, you know, uh, with a little roster change. Man, I, they they on their way now, man. I mean, they, they picked it up and doing a whole lot better. So we got the big event coming up. And I'm really to see, watch them get up and get number one, man. I'm, I hope they take number one this year, man, because they deserve a win this year. And I'm really pushing for them. So, man, you know, let's get them a win, man. But... I gotta say, you know, with this event going on and everything, there has been a lot of shields running around, riot shield contracts. I mean, it has been going crazy. But luckily, man, a lot of the stuff has really died down, but it still, you know, just really ticks your boy off, man. I mean, it makes me go 5150 on these guys when they want to run around with the riot shield and just kind of crouch down and, you know, ease up towards you and then throw a knife at you or something or have somebody you know in a party you know and they just try to you know ease you up to you know lure you in to get shot and stuff i mean it really gets annoying and i hope they really fix something i mean i heard a lot of hype where people are trying to get it where you know at least let it penetrate the glass and i mean i do think man we should be able to penetrate it i mean it don't need to do no 35 50 you know damage but i mean at least do like a 15 20 damage you know or you know, you can at least, you know, not be overpowered with it. Because, I mean, it just really gets annoying. But, I mean, your boy goes off here. We got all these new maps. But, man, I, I just love playing the old maps, man. I mean, I I guess because I'm more familiar with them and, you know, the rotations of spawns and whatnot. And I just really know the flow of them. But, you know, I recently re-downloaded all my DLCs because, you know, after a while, I just kind of got burnt out playing the same four maps over again. And I was like, well, you know, I'm just going ahead and re-download all of them. But it, it real quick is getting annoying. I mean, I'm just sick and tired of, 
you know, all these noobs just sitting in corners. Just it seems like every time you turn around, especially with these shields, man, these people are just sitting in a corner waiting on you to walk by and shoot you. You know, I mean, it's just, my gosh, can it get any more annoying than that? But I mean, you know, everybody was a noob once, but I mean, some people ain't even noobs and they're just still running around with requisitions and riot shields. And I mean, sometimes I want to throw shade to people in the lobbies, you know, that's on my team talking about, you know, hey, I got my riot shield, you know, I want to ease up, you know, y'all running behind me. And I mean, just, just stuff like that, man, really breaks the game and, you know, makes the, uh, the shields just too overpowered and annoying. But I'm so glad, I mean, the first day when we launched this and it was just crazy to see everybody and their mama, grandmothers, aunties, and uncles just grinding the riot shields and cavalry. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. I love the cavalry division. I mean, there's a lot of hate on it, but I mean, I absolutely love it. I don't really run it too much because I'm trying to stay away from it. But I mean, you get me on shipment and I'm going to go ahead and throw that cavalry on just because, you know, it gives you kind of like a hard line. So if you throw... Calvary on with ordnance, man, it just makes your streaks just come up a whole lot faster and you can just OP, just dominate your streaks. And for that, that's the why I love Calvary. I don't love it for the shield. I mean, if I could take the shield off, give me my gun with my attachments with the Calvary stuff. I mean, I think that you should be able to add attachments to your gun if you do not use the shield because it really gets annoying whenever you got to reload your clip every five seconds because you ain't got no ammo or no attachments to it but maybe they'll work out the kinks you know and get the response from the community and you know really work on trying to fix that but man i mean that that optic camo right there baby just sexy i mean check your boy out with the duck soup optic camo i mean i was gonna throw my uh, black ops 4 logo on there but i i didn't want to i didn't want to destroy the camo man i mean to me it looks good i know scump and all them are throwing shade at it and you know crim is throwing shade at it but i mean it is what it, I mean. It's it's optic, man. I mean, what kind of a camo would you expect? I mean, just the lo I mean, they just put the logos on there. You know, they didn't do anything real hyper op. You know, just to, you know, make it just insanely crazy. You know, I guess people was wanting some of the animated uh, camos and stuff like that. And uh, speaking of all of that, the animated camos and stuff, we actually have a few more camos that has been added to the uh, Call of Duty line here and I mean I might actually try to grind to get some of them uh, I want the chrome but I'm not really gonna grind to get it but I mean I might try some of these new uh, camos that they do have launched out for us and uh, I believe it's the Disco, the Nora Black, Clouds, Metal Flake and the Parachute I mean uh, you also got Purple Passion. Don't forget about that. And the other ones I ain't even going to try to name. I don't even know where they got these names from, my dude. But uh, that disco might look pretty good. I mean, in a way, it'd be kind of like the uh, diamond, I guess, without having to grind for the diamond camo. And uh, alongside of that, we also got uh, a brand new rifle in the game that a lot of people, YouTubers, have been grinding on it. And saying that it's halfway OP. Some people saying it's OP, some people say it's not really that good, it's just a basic gun, uh, depending on the situation that it puts you in hand. But the AVS-36, man, it, from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's probably just a little bit better than the Volt, but I think the PPSH is going to grind out and be the best gun, you know, still in the game, alongside of the Lewis. And I'm just hoping I get it in one of those supply drops where I can really grind it out for you guys and... Who knows, man? I might get my first V2. I mean, I've clutched so many times and just died right there on 23, 24, 22. So many times, man. I have not been able to get that V2 because I'm always, you know, sitting back trying to get it. And then when I get so close, I, I just seem like I try that last kill just to push it. And I wind up dying, you know, and I, I just rage on it, you know. And uh, let's don't forget about the sniper rifle. Jeez. I believe it's called the D Lazelle. I'm not. Don't quote me on it. I mean, that may be wrong, but I'm gonna tell you, man. A lot of people's using this because it's got a, lot, a real fast ADS and quick scoping has been a problem with this, man. I've seen. I've got killed a lot of times in lobbies with people already grinding this out, and I might try just to play with it. I'm the sorriest sniper in the world, 
but you might see it. But hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come back for more content, man. But for right now, I got to get out of y'all's hair, man. Peace.